PSFA was formed in 1991. Of course, uh, all along, we only knew there is only one association representing the forwarders operating in both Causeway and Chocopot. In today's world, CSR is important. And this is where we can make ourselves more approachable and so are its members that will benefit from this. Thus, in 1993, after a series of protracted discussions and day-to-day -day issues arising due to the growing traffic, a group of interested shipping companies decided to form the Persatuan Wakil Perkapalan dan Penghantaran Pelabuhan Johor, also commonly known as Johor Port Shipping and Forwarding Association, JPSFA, to represent an official platform to deal with the Port Authority and other government agencies and associations. The logo of the association, in the form of a seahorse, represents the link to past traditions and the colours blue, red and white denotes harmony, prosperity and purity. 1991, a pro tem committee was formed and headed by Mohammad Cheese, Mr H.T. Go, and Mr Chan Fu Chin, 6th July 1992. JPSFA was registered under the name Persatuan Wakil Perkapalan dan Penghantaran Pelabuhan Johor. 29th October 1992, the inaugural annual general meeting was held. Inche Wan Rosli bin Haji Wan Yaakob was elected as the first president. He served for two terms until 1995. 1995, Mr Alvin Tan was elected as the new president and served for 16 years. 10th October 2003, JPSFA had its first joint dinner with SAM. 2nd July 2005, JPSFA has its own home. The Wisma JPSFA was officially opened by Dato Suri Haji Mohammad Khalid bin Nordin, the Honourable Minister of Entrepreneurial Development and Cooperatives Malaysia. 1st September 2008, standard trading conditions for JPSFA was applied. 10th March 2011, Mr. Michael succeeded as the third president, taking over from Mr. Alvin Tan. 23rd April 2013, the association's name was changed to Johor Ports Shipping and Forwarding Association to reflect on the many ports now operating in the state of Johor to continuously provide the professional platform for our members to interact globally via our network. The current president is Mr. Michael Chia. The increasing stature of the association till today can be attributed partly to the dedication and sacrifices of an evolving committee and fully supported by a growing number of member companies which now stands at 93 member companies. In 2005, the committee supported the President's proposal to purchase an association building to facilitate and promote activities of the association, such as trainings, seminars, gatherings and committee meetings. This became a reality when the association building was officially declared open by the Honourable Minister of Entrepreneurial Development and Cooperatives Malaysia, Yang Berhormat Datuk Haji Muhammad Khalid bin Haji Nordin on 2nd July 2005 to reflect the many ports now operating in the state of Johor. The association changed its name to Johor Ports Shipping and Forwarding Association on 23rd April 2012. The Cursus Agent Custom KEK Executive and Cursus Agent Perkapalan KEP 
jointly organized with University Uttara Malaysia, is exclusive to JPSFA in Johor and courses are available yearly. Over the years, JPSFA has worked cooperatively with the authoritative bodies for any endeavours through the many forums and meetings, paving the way for members' views to be voiced. In addition, the association's decisions to leverage on the press from time to time to inform the general public on port congestions reflects the active role it has taken thus far for the betterment of the logistics industry. JPSFA's objective is to provide a platform to serve the maritime needs of the industries and to maintain a close rapport and enhance links and interaction with the government agencies and the Johor Port Authority. Over the years, JPSFA has been actively fulfilling its CSR by organizing charity golf events, dinners and souvenir programs to raise funds for the less fortunate. We have managed to raise close to 100,000 ringgit for deserving charities in Johor Bahru, such as the Handicapped and Mentally Disabled Children's Association, Hiwanis Down Syndrome Foundation, Care Haven and many more. JPSFA shall remain committed to return to society what society has given to us and continue with our efforts to make this world a better place. JPSFA has come a long way in terms of its presence and will continue to forge ahead with the ongoing enthusiasm and undivided support from her current and new members. The association is committed to improving and upgrading the professionalism of the members it represents. Now the logistics industry is progressing very rapidly. Uh, as you can see, there are many developments uh, that has been uh, ongoing. Which we have the development of the two ports, where PTP is already a world class port. We also are looking at the uh, Iskanda regional development. We are also looking at the Pangarang terminal, which is uh, going on straight, which is going to generate a lot of uh, business opportunities to the logistics players. My vision for the association in the future, I would like to move JPSFA to a higher echelon, that is at the federal level where we can actually contribute much more to uh, the development of the 